all of the encoder modes that I'll be showing you are compatible with any Arsenal Powered Control Surface script that has encoders. And when I say encoders, I mean encoders, faders, knobs, basically anything that isn't a button or a switch, such as the faders on the APC20 here. Each of these modes determines the functionality of a set of encoders, as well as the functionality of the encoder accessory buttons, which are typically a group of buttons beneath or above the encoders, such as this group of buttons on the Launch Control XL. In the case of controllers that have multiple sets of encoders, each set of encoders has its own mode settings, and the settings of the first set of encoders will determine the functionality of the encoder accessory buttons. The base functionality of these modes will work the same regardless of which Arsenal powered control surface script you're using. However, they may look a bit different because different controllers have different sorts of encoders. For example, some encoders have associated LEDs, and if so, modes will use those to their advantage. Also, some modes have additional functionality that you may be able to access depending on the controller. For example, if a controller has multiple sets of encoders, some modes have ways of taking advantage of that. For those reasons, I'll be demonstrating these modes with a variety of controllers. This way you can see how they look on various controllers, as well as any additional functionality they offer.